Hi, I'm Phil Tobin from EFI Analytics, and I'm here today with my big block Corvette that I use for a good deal of all my test work on my Megastore applications. Now, while I can talk to you at great lengths about this car, what I'm really here to talk to you about today is my brand new Android application, Shadow Dash MS. This is a ground up, new application. However, it carries over a good deal of familiar characteristics from other applications that you may have been using. Uh, things like Shadow Logger MS, where that was a very basic logging app, but it did have the simplicity on its site. Turn it on, connect, it goes. Then you have your Tuner Studio dashboards. So you've got a lot more bling, a little more character behind your application. But what I've done is combined both of those attributes here into a single application. So now this maintains that simplicity, simplicity of Shadow Logger, where you just fire it up, it connects, detects your Megasquirt, sets up the appropriate project files, and just connects and goes. But it can also load any Tuner Studio dashboard. In fact, these dashboards have been enhanced from Tuner Studio. So they include things like images can be part of an indicator. You can have an on image, an off image. You can put an image for any background of a gauge itself. So it gives you a whole lot more work, flexibility in what sort of gauges or indicators you may want to define. All those images are then saved in the single .dash file. And this here is able to load any file that you may create with Tuner Studio. You'll also notice that there's a lot of sensors data on these phones and tablets. So additional gauge, gauges have been added to support those. So you have GPS gauges, mile per hour, bearing, longitude, latitude, all of those, along with accelerometer data. Then even combining in gyroscope and magnetic sensors in order to try and come up with normalized acceleration data. So that you have acceleration forward or side to side. And you can trace just how hard your car was turning or how hard it was accelerating. And this is all data logged. And, and speaking of logs, with this application, we're no longer doing any form of FRD. You can. The option is still there, because in some slower devices, that is the fastest way to log. There's very little overhead writing that binary data. However, by default, this will log a normal MSL file so as that you can just open it in Mega Log Viewer, just the same as if you had recorded it with Tuner Studio. You can still upload those directly into shadowtune.com, shadowtuner.com, for you to be ready to go ahead and download as soon as you get to work or home or wherever you may be heading, as, or, as well as just email it to yourself, same as Shadow Logger always did support. But now we have a great deal. Let's check out some of these screens. Pick whatever dash you feel like. Have them all loaded up and just slide to whatever one. Might want to have this one laid out so that it's primarily giving your g-force and whatnot. Mile per hour and sensors related primarily to the, the device, the tablet, or the phone itself. But over here now, well, we're picking up some mile per hour from the tablet, but we were able to go uh, ahead and display mostly all other MS3 related stuff here. If you should want to change a gauge now, you hold down your finger, oops, without sliding it, and brings up the menu. Now you can reload back to the default ones or change the limits. Say you just want to raise the RPM, then you can do that there from, or swap over to any of the gauges that are defined that you find in Tuner Studio, as well as GPS gauges or gauges that are uh, defined specifically to the sensors in here, accelerometer and whatnot like that. You can make it a big old compass if you want. So throw up here, well, Excel Force and move our, over to our next door neighbor dash. And again, same thing. Select this one, change it to whatever you have might happen to want to make it into. Uh EGT, ability GT zero. Now it should respond over to the O2. While that's all cool, but right now we're still looking at relatively static gauges because it's connected to a bench unit. It's currently running MS2 Extra, but uh, it's on a gym stem, so the gauges are reading, but not reading very much. 
probably be a little cooler if we could hop in the car and actually watch the gauge running against the real motor. So here, come on, let's hop in. types of troubles, please let me know. That's what the point in this beta period is, because I want to make sure that it works as simple and straightforward as intended. Just install it, it works. I know that there are a lot of people out there that are just taking on EFI, and that's what you're here to learn about. Last thing you want to do is spend your time figuring out how to work the software. That's my job. You shouldn't be worrying about that. So if you do run into any troubles, let me know, either on the forum or email me direct at p underscore tobin at yahoo.com. Till then, enjoy. Thank you.